being a fighter is a way of life. Vamos, no te tires tanto, más, te, más cerrada la guardia. Now that you have the position, now you're shooting. Boom, controlling again, boom, now you're shooting. Control, go. Ready, down. Yeah, I fall in love with the, with the sport, with the art, and I was looking for learning deeply from the source, uh, the completely style of Muay Thai. Well, my name is uh, Marco Merlo. I come from Spain. I've been in Muay Thai since 2005, 2006, and I've been here in Thailand 16 years since I came in 2005. He's the real deal. He's as real as he gets. Marco's training style doesn't just teach you how to be a good Muay Thai fighter, but it teaches you how to live your life. Muay Thai just happens to be the vessel that communicates these lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be, be more, more open up or be more tuned with yourself to yeah. feel. At the moment that you start thinking, you will be late. I had my first fight with Spirit of Siam and uh, worked out pretty well. My name is Joe Thomas, I'm from North Wales, Rill area, and I've been training Muay Thai on and off for about three and a half years now. Well, Marco takes a lot of care in your training goals. I know he pushes you to go that extra yard. The routine that we have here is a little bit different on the way that we teach people methods and principles. Methods of training and principles for lifestyle. So when people they come here, I don't see them as a person that just want to fight, rather than a human being that want to advance and be a little bit more complete. So we want to give them different tools to be more success in life, just not only in the ring. Uh, my name is RJ Pierce. I am from Detroit, Michigan, and I have been training Muay Thai for about seven or eight years now. Muay Thai has been there to help me organize the messiness of life. You can't be good at the sport and take it to a high level without having other elements of your life in order. So in that way, it pushed me away from lots of bad habits, and because there was so much progress in good habits, I just kept on with it. No rush, go on, move dumb. Back and forth, push and shove. Make your peace and love turn to peace and gloves. Now you got a deal run up. No rush, go on, move dumb. Back and forth, push and shove. Make your peace and love turn to peace and Now you got a deal run up. No rush, go on, move dumb. Back and forth, push and shove. Make your peace and love turn to peace and gloves. Now you got a deal run up. No rush, go on, move dumb. Back and forth, push and shove. Make your peace and love turn to peace and Now you got a deal run up. The body always follow the mind. So the mindset when you are fighting, when you are in a very high stress situation, it will determine how success you can be on that situation. When you are doubting the moment of the fight, you will find a lot of troubles. <laughs> 
So it's very important as you train your body, you need to train your mind. Me llamo Dani, soy de España, de Castellón, bueno, nacido en Málaga y llevo entrenando, empecé a entrenar en el 2008 y peleé desde el 2009 hasta el 2013. Para mí las, las enseñanzas de Marco dentro del gimnasio y fuera son más las enseñanzas fuera del gimnasio que dentro, porque no solo te enseña a entrenar, te enseña una filosofía de vida, te enseña una manera de ver las cosas, una manera de trabajar y una manera de ser. The warrior, the warrior approach. I will divide in two states. When you are a student, you are a student and that's it. And when you reach the point that you are master, you are master and that's it. So students, they have the intention to turn in a master in one day. Um, we've had some fighters come through recently and um, one of them, even with their first fight, I got to train up and coach. Watching them in their journey, watching them get better, it's, yeah, it feels really good. Um, training here is really special because it, you really feel like you're a part of a community. Training with Marco specifically is really awesome because he's so talented and so proficient and so skilled at what he does, but the element of warmth that he adds to the entire practice is incredible. You feel like people want you to be here. Not only are you getting some of the best Muay Thai training, but yeah, yeah, it's an important community to be a part of. In a certain stage of my life, I was a fighter, but I want something higher. That is from fighter past to warrior. So fighters, they prepare in just only when they have to be prepared for, because the fight is coming. But warrior is always prepared because he don't know when the fight is coming. I like the Samurai philosophy, they was always ready to fight in, and perhaps they never use the katana, but if they have to use it, they know how to use it. I said sometimes to the guys, I walk in with the flowers in one hand and with the sword in the other hand. I'm a simple human being that I reach the point to understanding how to use it both. I will not say that the flowers are better than the sword. I will not say that the sword is better than the flower. According to the situation that come in front of me, I will use one and I will use the other one, without of any type of reaction. So if someone comes to the side of the sword, I will treat them with the sword. If someone comes to the side of the flower, then I will treat them with the flower. 
Daris. Uh, I'm very open to receive any people, any person from any country here at the Spirit of Siam in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So if anyone is interested to train, to take it seriously to another level, please come to visit us. Better you come and train tomorrow. Study, study. This guy. Have no brain, why you study? <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, thank you so much.